Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. We're gonna be playing the next couple hundred rooms. I'm not sure if it's 200 or 400. Not sure. I know it sounds weird. I don't like series to end on part three. Part four sounds good, like a good four part series. I enjoy it. This is a really long hallway. Three feels kind of like I don't know. I've done it in the past. I've done it several times, but... I just figured I would throw it out there. It's just, I don't know why, but for some reason, very often when I'm playing kind of a longer game, the series will end on part 13 every time, and I don't understand. I don't, it, it happens consistently. I can name several that that happened to. Uh, off the top of my head, like Outlast was 13 parts. Silent Hill Downpour, a game I played a while back, admittedly. It was gonna end on part 13, but what, I saw it coming like three parts out, and I was like, no, it's gonna be 14. And I kind of stretched it, made it fit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Just kind of happens that way. Even numbers are better. You want a good conclusion video to be on an even numbered. Part. Hi. Button in on my conversation. I'm trying to have a discussion here. Do you mind? What's happening? Hello. What am I doing? This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs. Although it seems to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new lab, nothing works quite right. I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything here worth salvaging. Uh, nothing like your voice cracking in the middle of reading something. Love it. So. Wow. That door opening is new, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people made fun of me in part one of this series for pointing out all the news shit. But, I gotta point it out, okay? If it's different, it's different. It's noteworthy. I'm making a ton of noise moving through this thing. I hope there's no moonster. What happened? The power just kind of cut out, so... Okay. I'm in the vents. We are officially... in the vents. What is this stuff? What is this stuff? Oh. I just exited a question. What are you? Excuse me. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything... Is everything broken around here? That was my imitation of the... Mystery note lever. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's keep going, shall we? Something comes up to us. Well, pow! They're gonna get an axe to the face. I don't know what to do. I can't think well. I feel strange. I'm hiding from that thing. I feel like something is growing on my skin. I can't seem to tear it off fast enough and I'm losing a lot of blood. Why don't you cry about it, you big whiny baby? Ugh, I'm transforming into something monstrous. Give me a break. You ever had a really bad pimple? That's true suffering, all right? You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. You have to keep it close. Backup generator online. What? 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 What are you doing? Oh, hi there. You just want to give me a hug, huh? How about no thanks? Oh, oh, it turns into something else! 
It does, it does. You gotta keep it close, okay? Okay, so it gets faster. It gets faster. Gotcha, gotcha. No, we'll keep you close, buddy. I wish I could ax you in the in the mouth, but you know. Okay, maybe I can just like pace myself a little bit. Come on. Give me a hug. Yeah, that's right. That's your friendly face. We can't get too far away or it'll get us. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Oh shoot, that thing's that thing's fast. That thing's really fast. But I'm faster. Can't wait for you to catch up. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't want to run away from that thing again. Would be nice. So yeah, this this specimen's completely changed if unless I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Because I recognize that worm thing from last time. I thought that's what it was before, but now it's... No! Shit! Okay, so it's like, it, it wants you to keep it real close. It's kind of a little clingy. Listen, bud, I don't know how to tell you this, but you gotta give me some space, okay? Okay. Like a lot. <laughs> the candles, the music. What's this all about, Lisa? Sorry. I, I I try not to make too many room references, but sometimes it just comes out. This thing does kind of look like Lisa from Resident Evil. Just gonna point that out. Ah, oh, this room again? Again? I, you know, screw this. You can get faster if you want. What? Okay, we're done. We're done. <laughs> what? You are here. What a helpful map. Very helpful. Thanks for that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're still trying to make our way to uh, room 700. We're getting there. I'll check back in with you guys in a sec. Oh no! No! Ow! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Stop! No, 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 no! My second death. My soul wanders an endless maze. That thing is annoying. I don't like it. I don't like the new specimen. I hate it. Damn it. Hello? 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 Uh, yes, hello. How are you? Supposed to be like five minutes at Freddy's. I didn't uh, get it the first time yes, I saw it. Hello. So yeah, there's the fan and everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Good stuff. So I had to do that whole segment again. Took a while. Hopefully I don't run into that thing again. Cause I I just got unlucky in that one hallway. It just happened to be the really long hallway. And I was boned. It's too bad. I should have tried swinging the axe at it. I didn't even think about it. Oh, come on. I gotta go back? Is it this one? Wow, alright. Eh? You behind me? I'ma get you. Day four. I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. Hmm. That's very smart. Although it will still use up battery while it's off. <laughs> Unfortunately, I learned that lesson the hard way one time. Oh, come on. It's a hallway built for that one monster that killed me last time. 
It's just built for it. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions, and I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. But we have an axe! You didn't mention that part. You failed to mention that we have a weapon. When you said you're out of provisions. I would say an axe is a provision. It provides you with a defense capability against, you know, monsters. It's a good thing to have in your back pocket. I can think of worse things. Like a thumbtack. You wouldn't want to have that in your back pocket. Ouch. Wouldn't be able to sit down anywhere. Oh, come on. That's, that's the third time in a row I've made the same mistake on this one hallway. Ah. Thank you. Alright. What's up? Day six? Day seven? Oh, skip day six. I can't tell the real from unreal anymore. My limbs refuse to move the way I want them to. I feel like I'm wading in a deep river that is always flowing against my direction. Now I will lay down and let the river flow over me. I will let it guide me to its end. I know where I'm going anyway. This place, this entire place, is just a gyrating, screaming rock in the vastness of an infinite kingdom. I'm going to rest now. I'll be watching over you. Well, that's scary. Probably the creepiest thing in this game. I don't want someone watching over me. Watching everything I do? Yeah, I don't know about that. And room 700, we're here. Whew. That was, uh, that was tough. I think 600 through 700 just now gave me more of a challenge than the rest combined. <laughs> I don't know if it was just the design of the rooms or if it was the difficulty of the specimens that I encountered, but did not like that. All right, on to 800 though. Oh, and we're back to this, are we? We're back to this. I did not miss this room. <laughs> Although I gotta say, the long hallways in the last set weren't that much of an improvement. Okay. Is there an easier way to tell which path I need to take than to go forward and look for the table? Because that's how I've been doing it. And by the time you answer that question in the comments, I'll be done with the game, so... Won't really be useful info. That doesn't stop people from leaving comments like that anyway, though. I remember my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Like, it was a situation where I had to cram a bunch of videos before PAX, but since I was away at PAX South at the moment, or at the time, not at the moment. Oh, this place, huh? Uh, of course, I had to, like, publish the videos slowly, because I was away. Well, slowly. I did like one or two parts every day. Um, and people would leave tips on the on the early parts and I'd be like, guys, I'm way ahead. You're looking at, you're looking at weeks old footage right here. Okay, the men's room is broken. Women's room is... Okay, there's a, there's a key. Pick up key. Got key. What's, uh, what's in the... Bloody stall. Okay. Nice. Read. Three. Well, I broke my one rule today. The management doesn't give out actual lunch breaks, so I can't go anywhere, and they won't allow outside food here. I mean, they actually screamed at the last customer who did that. Anyway, I had a burger. It wasn't bad, and I don't feel sick, so I might get a few every now and then. It's made of soylent green! One, I was anxious getting a job here at first, but it seems like things are getting better. This chain is really expanding, which is a shock because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place and it's food though. So I'm going to try and not eat anything from here. Hmm. Why not? You should give in and eat this stuff. Two, today was a weird day. The average number of orders continues to rise as it has been, 
but I don't know about the number of people. Today I saw someone use the drive-thru and order a lot of food for one person, and then about 10 minutes later they were back. They ordered the exact same meals, and then they left again. They, uh, ugh. Then after another 10 minutes they were back again. Maybe they're just delivering food for a party or a hotel, but it worries me for some reason. Hmm. I see. 100% beef. Yeah, nobody buys that. Alright, so I got the key. I think I can... Can't open this, right? Yeah, it's still locked. I can go in here, though. Fun rules. Oh, sorry. Four. This is strange. I had a dream last night about this restaurant. I know I was here, but I also felt like I was in another place at the time. At the same time. Everything looks so wrong. Nothing was the right size, and I kept hearing these strange animal noises, almost like wailing. I guess I just feel guilty for eating that burger the other day. Also today, I saw that man again. The one who kept ordering every 10 minutes. This time he never even left the parking lot. He just got his meal, parked, and then got back in line. He must have done it at least 8 times before he left. That's... that sucks. Shoes! Okay. I miss these, by the way. Five. There was a horrible accident today. At least that's what the managers are calling it. One of the other employees brought in some outside food and got into a fight with the manager about it. The employee said that the burgers here smell like sulfur. I then watched the manager grab the kid's neck and shove his head onto the grill. The employee got up and ran out before anyone could do anything, and I'm told that he is fine. But that really shook me today. Yeah, that would shake me too, I gotta say. Okay. Did I miss a note? I feel like I missed a note. Huh. Bloody chain, huh? Symbolizing the meat industry. Perhaps. Six. I'm leaving. I fell asleep in my car today after eating one of those burgers. I remember brief flashes of a man or animal coming towards me and feeling like some huge lumbering thing was wailing from deep underground as I continued eating. When I woke up, I was fine, but it had veered off the road. I don't know if it's some weird allergic reaction to a preservative they use or something much worse, but this is my last day. That's what you think. You're never gonna be allowed to leave. I can't let you do that, Scott, etc. Okay. You can't sprint in here, by the way. It's not allowed. A key! I got one. Ooh, I got it. I got the key. Locked? What else is... wait. Is it this? Oh. I couldn't have controlled that! Hide! The, it's the devil! He's still after me. Go. Okay. A what? Yeah, it's still there. I forgot that the devil does that. He can, like, the make the doors look like they're not there. He can hide them from you. Okay. I love this music, by the way. Good theme. Add this door there. It can get really annoying, though, when you're in a more complicated room and you don't know where the door is. You give me these short ones. Yeah! Yeah! Awesome. Oh, we're upstairs! At that one room that I encountered earlier last video. I know that wasn't really specific, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, what? Oh, we've got... Where is he?
I hear him. It's that worm thing again. 750. Oh. Thanks. Now, the part that isn't revealed about the unlimited stamina is that you can't sprint anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I miss sprinting already! Hey, sprinting's back. It was just for 10 rooms. You! What? That was bullshit! I hate this thing, dude. Hey, we made it to room 800. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna close this video out there, so the next one will be the last. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.